Today we are going to talk about technology. What are the next challenges that the next manager is going to face? And this is part of the organizational structure part of this management course that has to also relate to the personality, attitudes, and the people. We we're going to organize the company or our institution based on the people that we need. And this short diagram is going to tell you what are the components that are around the organization that relates to the intelligences, the attitudes, the beliefs, the values, the changes, and the learning styles. So we're gonna do a short video that cover these different areas. We're gonna start with the beginning of the SWOT analysis, covering what we already mentioned in previous classes about the external environment, the internal environment, and how all this global environment is going to affect our organization. Then we added what I call tech knowledge that is the combination of all the technology knowledge, all the infrastructure, the network, the devices, the information that you're going to use in today's companies to be sure that you have a successful organization. All this technology mixed with the global environment has to be supported by people. And these different components that we cover are related to how the people behave and how people functions. First, we want to talk about the values that we also cover in other videos related to the personal leadership system. When you set your own values, your beliefs, your priorities, and you also set the values, beliefs, and priorities of the organization. And we add also the ethics component, everything related to moral, right decisions, and of course, the cultural aspects, not only of your employees, but also of the culture of the organization. On the other side of the board, we wanna talk about, we talk about learning styles, how your employees are going to assimilate or learn or get knowledge. You have people that are visual, people that are auditory, and people that are kinesthetic. And this is important to remember when we cover later the different kind of intelligences. In that area of the learning style, where you're gonna find people that like to learn by knowing, reading, writing notes, or doing. Like we do in scouting, we learn by doing things, by practicing, and this is important. There are other people that learn by planning events. They are very good in strategies. We do a lot of planning, but we don't like to do the execution of the project. We want to have other people with different skills, with different abilities to run the events or run the, the plans, to make it happen. Um, you also include here the leading component, the leaders who are going to influence others or work behind the scenes, or producing the situations to move on. Of course, creativity is part of this idea because we have to always think about innovation. We want the people to work and to plan and to learn by thinking that everything has to be improved. Another component that we add to the graphic here is change. Like we talked before in our personal leadership system, we have to learn how to embrace change, the change that we plan and the unexpected changes. We have to be prepared for emergencies. We have to prepare to act and react when we are needed to work. All great captains are tested during the storms. So you have to be prepared and learn how to cope and embrace change. When we are talking about change, we all have to talk about ambiguity. We don't want, sometimes you have to, you have to give room to flexibility. We have to talk about risk, 
how to assess risk, what is the probability that something is going to happen, and what is the consequence. And this is the engineering mindset of uh, doing a risk assessment. Well, then we want to finish our graphic today by going to the different intelligences. You have to identify your employees, your partner, your team member, what kind of intelligent people they are, or what are the predominant uh, intelligence that you can find in them. Some people are going to have two, three, four, all of them, but it's good to know their strengths are in one or other specific area. And today in class, we covered all this. We did a nice graphic that we want to share later where we saw why we think that we have one predominant intelligence and why. So the intelligence that we explore are the spatial intelligence that like to see abstract objects, musical, interpersonal, how you relate to other people, intrapersonal, how you relate to yourself, the body kinesthetic kind of people that are also learning, but they also are very good in contacting people and very close to people. The logical people that are always uh, looking at a spreadsheet or finding the numbers or finding the logic to all the events. People that are naturalistic, they like things uh, natural, the green initiative, the peace of the world. They look always for being happy, all these kind of uh, ideas that are also important in our society. And finally, you have the emotional intelligence, how you are going to combine your values, your mood, your attitudes to be able to respond to situations, to make the right decision, and don't let your emotions change in a wrong direction. And this is part of this uh, area in our course in management where you use all these resources or techniques or about uh, intelligence and all this to produce a self-assessment. How you know yourself and how you allow your employees to know themselves. You want to be sure that you know in the same way you know the strengths and weaknesses of your company you also know the strengths, the weaknesses of everybody that is working in the organization and you know the kind of personality or the kind of attitude that you want to have in your teams. All this plus many other things are the challenges that managers are facing today and tomorrow.